Good morning, girls and boys. We're going to have story hour with Miss Sarah and Miss June. Hello. Everybody get your magic fingers out and put your listening on, ears on real tight. And we're going to read a story. We're going to read frog stories today. And the first story we're going to read is The Wide Mouthed Frog by Keith Faulkner. published by Dial Books for Young Readers. I'm a wide-mouthed frog, and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog, shooting out his long, sticky tongue. As he hopped along, he met a blue-feathered bird. I'm a wide-mouthed frog, and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wiggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his pointy beak. Next, the wide-mouthed frog met a furry brown mouse. I'm a wide-mouthed frog and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog. What do you eat, mouse? I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the mouse, wiggling her whiskers. The wide-mouthed frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green alligator. I'm a wide-mouthed frog and I eat flies, said the wide-mouthed frog. What do you eat, alligator? I eat delicious wide-mouthed frogs, replied the alligator, showing his sharp teeth. The wide-mouthed frog stopped catching flies, and he gulped. Then he puckered his lips and made his mouth as small as possible. Oh, you don't see many wide-mouthed frogs around, do you? He said. And he leaped into the pond with a great big splash and got away. Yay! That was a good story, Miss June. Miss June likes that story. I like that one, too. I'm going to be reading a fun book that's been a golden oldie. It's a golden oldie. It's Jump Frog Jump. Would you want to help me holler Jump Frog Jump? Sure. Okay. This is by Robert Callan. Pictures by Byron Barton. And the publishing company is Scholastic. All right. Are you ready? Okay. This is the fly that climbed out of the water. This is the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog catch the fly? Can you all holler it? Jump, jump frog, jump! You see him jumping? This is the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog get away? Ready? Jump, frog, jump! You jumping? <laughs> this is the snake that dropped from a branch and swallowed the fish and swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog get away? Can you help me? <gasps> jump, frog, jump! This is the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from a branch and swallowed the fish that swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog get away? Jump, frog, jump! <laughs> this is the net that wrapped around the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from a branch and swallowed the fish and swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog get away? Jump, frog, jump! 
These are the kids who picked up the net that wrapped around the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from the branch and swallowed the fish and swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog get away? <gasps> jump, frog, jump! This is the basket put over the frog by the kids who picked up the net that wrapped around the turtle that slid into the pond and ate the snake that dropped from a branch and swallowed the fish and swam after the frog that was under the fly that climbed out of the water. How did the frog get away? Jump, frog, jump! <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Miss June. You're welcome. That was so much fun. We've got one more that we're going to do together. And it's so much fun. It's okay. <laughs> this one's called the Icky Sticky Frog. And the frog has a long, sticky tongue. It was written by Don Bentley and illustrated by Selena Yoon. On a pretty blue lake, on a big brown log, sat a very quiet little green frog. Frog, excuse me. A fly flew by. Shh. The frog didn't make a sound. He just eyed the fly flying around. Whop! Out came the frog's tongue, so sticky and long. <gasps> The fly was gone. Just as the frog was swallowed, swallowing the fly, a colorful beetle came crawling by. Shh. The frog didn't make a sound. He just eyed that beetle crawling around. Whop! Out came his tongue so sticky <laughs> Too hard, <laughs> how the beetle now the beetle was gone the frog swallowed the beetle like he swallowed the fly then a green grasshopper came hopping by the frog didn't make a sound he just eyed the grasshopper hopping around whop out came his tongue so sticky and long now the grasshopper was gone. Frog swallowed the grasshopper hopping by like he swallowed the beetle and he swallowed the fly. And then he saw a pretty butterfly. Shh. Frog didn't make a sound. He just eyed the butterfly flying around. Whoop! Out came the frog's tongue so sticky and long. Gulp, the frog was gone. Oh no. He was mean and he got eaten by a fish. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for uh, coming and listening to our stories today about frogs and the. We're sorry for the technical difficulties. <laughs> a little <laughs> tongue. <laughs> So I hope you all are staying happy and healthy, and I'll see you all later. I will probably do a bedtime story um, either tonight or tomorrow, okay? So, bye. Bye, bye everybody.